Hello and welcome to this quick tip video on the various UV mapping options in 3D Experience Live Rendering. In this video, we'll explore the different UV mapping techniques you can use to efficiently apply textures to your 3D models. UV stands for UV coordinates or texture coordinates and refers to the 2D coordinate system used to map a 2D texture onto a 3D model surface. UV mapping is a crucial aspect of the texturing process in 3D graphics. It involves the process of unwrapping the 3D model surface and creating a 2D representation of it, known as the UV map. The UV map serves as a canvas onto which you can accurately place underlying textures. UV mapping is particularly important when it comes to applying textures that contain patterns, details, or specific designs. It ensures that the texture aligns correctly on the model surface, avoiding distortions or stretching. This is achieved by arranging and scaling the UV map to match the proportions of the model accurately. Different UV mapping techniques offer various benefits depending on the shape and requirements of your 3D model. In the 3D Experience platform, we have access to planar, spherical, finite and infinite cylindrical, cubical and geometry UV. Planar mapping works well for flat surfaces, such as floors or walls. Spherical mapping is perfect for spherical objects, like balls or globes, Cylindrical mapping is ideal for objects with cylindrical shapes, such as pipes or columns. And cubical mapping is suitable for objects with well-defined sides like a box. Finally, geometry UV mapping provides the most accurate result, as this is directly created by unwrapping the geometry with the app Generative Shape Develop. In my example here, you can see how I apply a spherical mapping and then a cylindrical to see the difference on the sphere. We will now see how a cubical mapping works on this geometry here. We see that it will do a hard cut on each angle. It works pretty easily, you can move the mapping in all directions or even rotate it if you need. Then we have the geometry UV mapping. In my example here I have a, a fabric uh, or leather example of a geometry that already has a proper UV assigned to it. I will show better now with the a specific UV texture to see how it behaves. Right now we have a cubical mapping and we see it doesn't apply properly on the geometry. When we switch to geometry UV, it will follow exactly the shape of your geometry. Finally, we see here an example on a full seat that was designed by one of my